Kia ora everyone, it's Hannah and as I'm filming this, this is my second to last day here in Perth and so I thought for one of my last videos I'd update you as to why I've decided to move back to Aotearoa. Alright, so two years ago I was quite a different person. Um, I was broken. Pressure was piling up in my life a lot faster than I could process and work through it and as a result I just burnt out and I reached a point where I was indifferent about who I was, about what it meant to be Hana, and I had lost motivation for life. A few things contributed to this, and one of those was I didn't know how to ask for help. So I remember reading in a book somewhere that you shouldn't bother people for something you can do yourself. And the way I interpreted that was don't bother anyone, ever. <laughs> Another was that I had no way to express the thoughts and the feelings I was feeling. Um, it was like it was disconnected, like the words wouldn't match up to the thoughts I was having. And because I believe in meaning what I say and saying what I mean, I'd rather say nothing than say the wrong thing. <laughs> so I was drowning and I had no way to communicate that with the people around me which at the time felt very lonely and like I'd been abandoned <laughs> and then the opportunity to move to Perth came up and I took it because I wasn't doing anything at home anyway so I might as well go to this new place and try and make something of myself there and gave me space to really just be a mess and to be broken and to be undone and to reflect and then gradually I started to peel back the layers of my identity and build it back up again. The blog was born from this process and if you get the chance or have any interest in reading the blog posts you'll see how my mindset has evolved from like a year ago to where it is now. So kind of the fucker papa of Hannah. Reflecting on who I was two years ago when I first came to Perth, I feel empowered in the journey that I've taken to get to here. And I see that I wasn't buried by the problems and the perceived pressure that I was under. That was toughly guiding my waka into a different direction that was me being planted into Te Kaipo, into Papa Tuanuku to grow into something new, something different. I've been able to strip away all the parts that I don't like, that don't align with my kaupapa and with the purpose I'm trying to realise and put myself back together again like in our hūone. I try to weave those types of whakaaro through the blog because that's what pulled me through the last two years along with a good support network and love and aroha and patience and what's had a significant impact on my mindset and the perspective I have about who I am and how I contribute to the world around me. Ah, hey whakakapi, just to wrap it up, one of my main focus areas is growth and I want to grow well and grow into whatever I can. I want to realise my potential and I could be totally wrong with this but my current level of consciousness is telling me that I've achieved what I can here in Perth and for me to grow into the next phase of Hana, whatever that looks, feels and sounds like and for this blog to grow and evolve, moving back to Aotearoa and being in the community and building the infrastructure and those networks is the best decision moving forward. I want to add value to the world and to people's lives by being by sharing the gifts that I have and the perspective I have. And the next step in being able to do that, I think, is by going back home. Kia ora. <laughs>